The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Feeling good, but sounding bad. I'm doing all right, folks. Everything's good. I just got a little bit of seven or eight frogs in my throat, and that's not because I was out in the pond. It's just because of the pollen that attacks me every once in a while, but I feel absolutely terrific. I posted the chart of the DAX. I posted the chart of the FTSE. The FTSE under a great deal more pressure than the DAX, primarily because of the thing that's going on with uh, Boris, uh, little Trump Johnson. He looks like he's on his way out for being a party animal, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Folks, there's something very, very big happening in the markets. We've been talking about it for a very, very long time, and there is trouble in River City. And it's not in the usual markets that we usually follow, except it is. And that is, it's in the Treasury notes and Treasury bonds. If you'll look at these charts here, I did several videos over the weekend about these to tell you that, look, this is what, what, what we're seeing happening now is basically historic, folks. We're breaking. We've taken out last year's lows. I mean, that's hard to believe that we've done that already, but we have. It's very, very important that you think about this a little bit because it has huge ramifications. If you remember last week, we said there was a chance we could get a little bit of a bounce in the Treasury notes. And you'll notice that we did back on the 8th of, um, there was a, it was a 7th actually, which was a Friday. We had a nice little five-day rally. You can see how weak it was. And now we've broken down badly. We've broken down badly because it's broken all the major numbers. Now, we could be sitting at a major yearly low here in interest rates. That's always a possibility. But there's also the possibility that we're going to be going down, looking at much, much lower prices in the Treasury bonds, just because of the fact that, you know, you have such uh, th these people have been accustomed to zero interest rates, that kind of stuff. And believe me, that isn't going to happen anymore. We can see that in the cards right away. But look what's happened to the Treasury bonds here, folks, just in uh, the last uh, just the last few trading hours. But we went down and we've shattered the 154.14 that took, we went below 153. We're trading below 153 right now. Folks, if you go to the newsletter and double check, you can see the ABCD pattern that this puppy takes you all the way down to, you'll never guess, 129. Now, stop and think, folks. We've been doing these bond deals for, well, uh, since 1976. We've seen bonds at 56. We've seen them at 180, 190. And uh, now we're, we're trading down here at about 150. So we could easily do that. We know for a fact, you and I, if we watch these things at all, we know that these bonds are not going to be repaid with normal dollars. They're going to have to be reinflated. So stop and think for just a moment. What's the big news item that's on everybody's lips? And that is inflation, correct? All right, there's two types of inflation. There's supply inflation and demand inflation. What we've got going now, and pay attention to what's happening in China, folks, because it's really, really important. They shut down the fact that the public can go to the Olympics. That's very important. They are shutting down cities one after another. Now, the people in those cities, they produce stuff that they sell. And everybody that knows where they sell, raise your hand. Yes, boys and girls, it's to the rest of the world, including their biggest supplier or customer, which is the United States of America. This is what's going to call the supply chain a problem. It's going to be inflation, but it's not the type of inflation that they had in Germany or what we had back in the 70s. That was a situation where you had demand because we had the velocity of money skyrocketing. Folks, the velocity of money is dropping like a rock. You know, that's that's not long term inflation. That's short term inflation. So there's going to be there's going to be some shelves that are not going to be filled. There's going to be some other things that are not going to be done. But we're going to get through this. All right. Uh, so anyway, that's pretty much it. Now I have to show you this picture sent to me by Rich Anderson, he, and it's it's really a cool. It was done. It was in one of the magazines many many years ago. But folks, 
This is your perfect example of social distancing. Now, this is the bond pit, folks. <laughs> there, there's over a thousand people in there. This was 1985, and uh, you know bonds start trading in '76. But this was the bond pit. The outside people, you see, everything, everybody there in a gold jacket is a member or it belongs to the uh, Chicago Board of Trade. Those in the red jackets and all other colors, they're either they're they're locals. The red are usually order fillers. And the other ones are just locals. And I, I never went into the pit. I stayed on that very, very fringe outside of it just to see what was going on. I did that early in the morning. And the rest of the time, I'd go up in Jack Waldock's office and Barry Lind, and I would sit there and trade uh, looking down at the pit. But I could see things. But, the, but believe me, I, I, was paying, I was paying $5 each side per contract just to send the pit in. And I was a member. Now you, you're you're paying four dollars on what you know in and out, and for heaven's sakes, you know you're not even don't even have to have a membership. But that's uh, can you imagine what that was like nowadays? They still have a couple of pits working, I understand, in Chicago, mainly the old corn pits and stuff, from just uh, just to keep the old guys happy. Uh, raise your hand. Anyway, uh, that's neither here. That's neither here nor there. Uh, I wanted to uh, also tell you something that happened to uh, Sarah and I this weekend. We have a very dear friend. Uh, friends are from uh, Utah, bountiful Utah, in the mountains above Salt Lake City. They were down here vacationing. Hold on here. Uh, no, I, I never met any of those people. I never met Aaron Russo, Eddie Murphy, or Dan Aykroyd. I did meet uh, Paul Gleason. He was uh, he was also known as Clarence Beeks. I Clarence Beeks. I met him, uh, and that was the only other ones. I never met Belushi or any of those other people uh, in there, or not. But uh, anyway, I still love that movie. And every time we go to Philadelphia, which is seldom anymore, I love to go to the places where it was filmed and, and still enjoy it very much. But uh, that's neither here nor there. Let's get back to these bonds, folks. Uh, these, but this is very important. What's happening today? We're seeing a breakdown in the bond market, and that could affect the stock market. Now we got the. I know stocks were down quite a bit a little while ago, but we're at a critical level today because if we break close, if we break below the lows of last week, in all these things, that's going to be a pretty nasty sign. Just looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average, we're down 500 points or something like that today. If we break below that and close down badly, and badly to me would be 800 or more. And we will see a day of more than 1,200 points to the downside sometime in our future, if I live to be 110. But that will happen. But when, I don't know. The key to watch today is watch the notes of the bonds, because that's what they did with Wood Stern, Wood, Woodward and Bernstein in, uh, you know, uh, all the president's men. That's uh, pretty much what uh, you got to watch. Follow the money and the money of these. Remember, the folks, the bond market. And the note market is 10 times bigger than all the stock markets. I mean, it's huge. So that's why you have to pay such, uh, you know, really close, really close attention to it because it's it's that important. That's uh, that's the, the important thing to look at. Now, how well, the other part of this is if you if there's only there's only three ways that the government can get rid of these bonds okay in other words the the debt that they have anytime you get over 100 we'll, we'll we'll get back to this thing about bonds because this is really i think it's important so you since this is our show we're going to say what we think is important <laughs> we'll be right back 877-927-6648 You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're back. I wanted to talk a little bit more about the bonds through the eyes of the uh, U.S. dollar, which we have to do. Now, there's only three ways that the government can get rid of these bonds. One is they hyperinflate. Okay, that's like what happened in Germany and almost what happened here in, 19, uh, in 1980 until Volcker came in. The second way they can do it is they can do it by defaulting on the bonds. That means we're just going to not pay them back. That would just be hazardous to the U.S. dollar. It would totally collapse. And as you can see from the chart that I just posted up here, that is not happening. So that's you can just pretty much that take that off the table unless we see it off the charts. The third way is that they pay them off. Well, the chances of that are like those two cowboys I see out on the hill over here, the Chance Brothers, slim and none. That's not going to happen either. So the only other option is they're going to have a high firm plate. Now, they can't high firm plate hyperinflate when there's no volatility in money, which is what's going on. So the only way they can do that is through the supply chain and shut that down. And that's what China is helping them do. They're going to keep these things up and that's going to make the bonds go down and it makes those darn things hyperinflation go up. And by golly, that's what's going to happen. They're going to get down to about 129 in the Treasury bond. That's the target that we're looking at here on that ABCD pattern. So that's what I'm looking at. We've been bearish bonds for a long time, folks. I think I've been ta talking about this. But, you know, well, you know, I, to me, you know, I, the dumbest thing I've ever heard in all of my life, and they're still going on in, 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 in Japan. They still have negative interest rates. Hello, operator. You know, get get with the program there. I mean, uh, I told you the story about, you know, the little our little grand, Sarah's little grandson when I gave him the box of candy and took it away from him and said I'd hold it for him till he needed it. And he says, when will I get it back? He says, you're never going to get it back. Well, why not? I said, well, you're not ready for it. Well, I want some candy. Well, if you want some candy, you're going to have to pay me for it. How do I pay for my own candy? And he grabbed the box away from me, and he said, this doesn't make any sense. I think you're being silly. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. So we have to go back and look that over. All right, let's move on to one other topic that I want to get back to uh, regarding these uh, 
treasury bonds, and that is this velocity of money thing with the U.S. dollar. The chart that I posted there for the U.S. dollar, you can see we stopped right at the 61% retracement. I didn't put the 382 in, but the 382 was there also. So we had a perfect retracement setting right there at that point. At that time, the euro was trading at 114 and change. We posted these charts, you know, over and over again to show you, you know, what these patterns are doing. We're not looking at anything fundamental or anything like that so that's all we were watching i'll post the euro chart you can see where we were this is an hourly chart goes back over the time period that we want to be able to look at it right here you'll be able to see that now we're coming down you'll see we're almost at the 78 percent level down here this is a that was a target area that we were looking at now this was this is 50 an hourly chart so look at yesterday folks the 17th okay that was that was a sunday uh, we were trading uh, on on sunday or monday because of the fact that it was uh you know, uh, on Globex, and you'll notice we went up to a 382 retracement up there at 114.30, and now we're breaking down here. We're down almost a thousand dollars in that thing, just looking at that simple pattern. And that that's all we were looking at. Now this is going to be really interesting too, because if the dollar, if the dollar can just watch the dollar, folks, and that's why we watch it so closely. If the dollar starts to collapse, that's going to be a, a huge game changer. But we're not seeing that anywhere right now. There's no panic anywhere. Even with the Dow down five six hundred points, it don't make any difference. There's no panic going on. Panic is when you see the thing down about uh, you know down a thousand twelve hundred, and you know people say I want to sell, and they look around and they say to who. You know, that, that's back from the old uh, uh, Eddie Murphy trading places, you know, get in there and sell, sell. And the broker says to who there's nobody buying. But whether, you know, I don't know if things are like that happen right now. The, the uh, short term bias is to the downside, but that could change uh, at any moment. But we do uh, to watch the patterns on a shorter term basis to see what's going on. Now we have to get back to a very s sad subject here. This was a trade that I liked the best last week. I posted it for everybody to look at. That was the sell in uh, Wells Fargo at uh, 50. Uh, 672 with a stop at 5840. Uh, uh, we got stopped out of that. It went up to about the 5860, I believe. We lost 3%, which was a dollar 40. Uh, excuse me, dollar 60 in that. And today I was checking because Goldman Sachs, you know, the leader of the pack there has just gotten massacred. And it was hard to sell Goldman Sachs because it, the pattern that it was in was basically, uh, you know, completing. You know, just get up here to take a look at it. But see, we've completed a major ABCD pattern here in Goldman Sachs today. So if you're an aficionado of Goldman Sachs, you're looking at a gorgeous ABCD to buy it. You don't want to buy it at 425 when it's making a three drive to a top pattern no 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 you want to buy it when it's you know when nobody else wants it buy them when they're crying and sell them when they're yelling that's an old adage from the old chicago mercantile exchange so let's remind ourselves that that's what we want to try to do by the way if you have any questions 877-927-6648 uh, answering a question here from mr z in the room about jimmy rogers and his association with uh with george soros yes when he was a young man he he was working for them as was uh, what was his name what's the other dude uh start with a really long name i can't remember never can remember his name jimmy rogers and uh what's the other fellow who's even more more famous than rogers and he's incredibly good at what he does. He, he worked at Commodity Corporation for a while before he went to uh, to uh, went, went to work for, what's his name, uh, George Soros. But they're on their own. The reason why, yes, that's it. Stanley Druckermiller, that's right, big Stanley. He is uh, he is his own hedge fund manager. But the reason why Jimmy Rogers moved to Singapore, folks, was because of the education. He has two daughters, and he wanted them to know Mandarin and Cantonese Chinese. He wanted them to teach Chinese. So he had a choice between Hong Kong, and he had a choice between that and Singapore. And he picked Singapore mainly because of the stability of the government. You know, they, first of all. You talk about stability. You know the main thing when you go to when you go to uh, Singapore, which I love going to the the Lion City. We've been there many times. Have many. Mister uh, probably William Chu's probably listening today, but I love the place. But do you know the two things that that are 
outlawed in Singapore that we have here all the time. A is skateboards, and B is chewing gum. You can't use chewing gum, bubble gum or chewing gum. Nope, cannot happen. Will not happen. It's against the law. It's a $100 fine for uh, chewing gum, and I think it's a $250 fine for having a skateboard. And on the second offense, it's even more. So that's the main reason he has private tutors for his kids there, of course. And that's uh, pretty pretty much, uh, you know, what uh, what he does. I mean, I'm, I'm not a close personal friend of him, but I've been out to dinner with him a few times and we've, you know, had chatted a little bit. But uh, we don't we don't exchange gifts. <laughs> that's a joke if I ever heard one. OK, have any questions, folks? 877-927-6648. I got a couple other questions that people have asked here that I'll try to answer about the grain markets and the other stuff that we're looking at through here. But we're watching this. And I need to talk to you about the crude oil market too, folks, because we've made new highs today. It's in the news. And this is the kind of markets that we really like to see uh, where in the news. So we'll have to uh, be watching it very close. 877-927-6648. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Uh, 
Okay, folks, as most of you know, I'm a contrarian when it comes to news, especially when markets are making new highs. And we're doing that today in uh, West Texas crude. No, 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 no. It hasn't made a new high yet. Brent North Sea has, but not the West Texas crude. I'm looking at that as a possible divergence. What I do at that point, I posted the long-term daily chart up for that. And so I'm watching that uh, for a potential turn. I have not seen any indication of that as of yet. But uh, when do I do? And the, what I mean by an indication, what I do is I go down to a 15-minute chart, a half-hour chart, and I try to find a smaller pattern that uh, you know may or may not be a, a good spot. But the thing is, it gets me in without risking you know an arm and a leg, and that's uh, the whole key of uh, you know what we're trying to uh, to accomplish here. Okay, now let's uh, move on to just one other thing here, another uh, question that someone had, uh, and that is about uh, when you when I do I read any reports at all, folks? I I don't read anything or any reports at all. I you know I, I get some information sometimes from Rich Anderson or Simon only to say yeah take a look at the you know take a look at what this is saying, but I go to look at the charts. You know I don't believe any of these bozos that are out there given anything. You know I mean whether it's any any type of uh, news at all, uh, I, I really and you all know what it's like with the news these days. I mean, all I do is look at that bar chart, and I don't need any oscillators because they're lagging indicators. I don't need those. Some people can work with them, and I know Basil, Steve Rhodes, David can do those things, but I, I can't. I keep it as simple as possible. My time counts. I do the very simple time counts. You know, seven and fourteen days, that type of stuff. I know that the odds of winning. Uh, because of the floor trainers handbook are very very heavily weighted in my uh, in my favor just because of the ABCD. I mean, when you have thirty thousand examples and you know that you're going to win sixty five percent or better, and your payoff is going to be better than three to one, that's an edge that you don't get very much. And so I think that's why it's very important. And when you add on top of it, when we watch the three eight two patterns, you know, my goodness, uh, that, that that just puts the odds in your favor, you know, just something, uh, you know, fantastic. Take a look here, take a look here tonight uh, from just a couple of days ago that we were preparing for this, folks, that we did in the news, uh, in our videos that we send out. Look at the three eight two that we had uh, on Monday. With the market, look at that. You got it stopped right at the 382, and we're down 100 points. You know, and, and it rallied one more time up there. See the little ABCD that was sitting there, too? Also, you're pretty much spot on to a 382. That's a really good indication of whether the things are uh, going to be looking uh, at these things or not. The most, uh, the oh, uh, I don't know anything about that tennis stuff that's going on otherwise, other than that. You know, I, I don't know if you know that we have lots of friends in Australia, and you know they are very happy to throw that guy out of there. They think that's a big deal, that they got him out, that he's a crook, he lies, and all that stuff. I don't know if he did that or not, but that's going to destroy the Australian Open, I would think. But you know, what do I know? So uh, I, I just look at the charts. That's all I do. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I've had a question about the soybeans and things like that, uh, the futures, and uh, we are watching those. We The one that we like the best, of course, is could be coming up here sometime in the next few weeks. Uh, it's a little early. But if we take a look here, uh, uh, I don't know what that means, uh, Z, when you're saying uh, NQ. ES are breaking lower. Well, I don't make any. Well, that, that, I'll get that. But look at look at the wheat, folks. Uh, this is a long term chart on Christmas wheat. And believe me, if you think oil can go up, uh, oil is indigestible. And with people want food, and if these these supply chains get really squirrely, which I don't think they will, they'll get squirrely, but not really squirrely. Uh, I think we're going to be. Uh, I think we're going to be okay. But you got to watch on the news. Uh, well. <laughs> There I go. Shut my mouth. I have people to watch the news. Anyway, if you see news on China with the with Beijing and stuff, and you see that they're they're shutting down these cities, if in fact they are, that's going to affect the supply chain. And you're going to know that right away because you're going to see stuff on those the the, the uh, what you call it uh, is uh, on the shelves. You're, you're going to see things missing. And you know a lot of the stuff that's made over there is not going to be available over here for a short period of time, possibly, maybe even longer. I don't know. Okay, talking about the stock market, uh, they were telling me that the NASDAQ was just making new lows. I want to get this up here to show you why it's so very important where we are, because if you'll get to this level right here, if we get below 
Oh, 15,100. Okay, this is where we closed on Friday here, 15,616. If we get below 15,100, start building the arc, folks, because that's going to be down three standard deviations, and we have not seen that in three and a half years. So that's going to be an important thing to pay attention to. 15,000 is, uh, well, there's also an ABCD down there at that level, but uh, watch that closely, folks. That's the one that's going to be really, really interesting. Uh, those are just a few things that we're paying attention to here this morning. So we're looking here. Okay, look at that crude oil. It's looking good now, baby. Looking good, feeling good, Billy Ray. Those of you that like 382 retracements, go take a look at that crude oil today to see what it did. Are you kidding me? Anyway, let's move on to another question that someone's asked us about the futures market. I want to get this up here. Uh, don't do it very much, but take a look here at the sugar, the sweet. And you'll be able to see here is the uh, March sugar. We made the big ABCD down there at 17 and change. We're now rallying up into the 18 area. We got a beautiful 382 pattern there at 1881. I know Ruby's probably looking at that one because we had the head and shoulders pattern back there on October 25th. The head coming in on the 17th of uh, November, the right shoulder coming in exactly at the same price as the left shoulder. That was on December the 8th. And then we have the A, B, C, D pattern where it dropped $2,000 over the next two and a half weeks to come down to 17 and change. And now we're rallying back in a bear market. And I would be a seller of that March sugar at 1881. I don't know where it's trading right now. But by golly, it's a, it's an interesting one to uh, to pay very very close attention to. So that's uh, what we're looking at here today. Okay. Well, one other question someone asked about about options. I do not do options, folks. I it's a little. I'm just too old to do options. So I'm, I'm not too old to do anything because I'm still relatively. I can still feed myself. <laughs> well, here, as you can see, I do a pretty good job at that. Uh, I think the reason I do options are too confusing for me. But if if you had to sit down with somebody to start this business, I would start them in the option business because if you learn to be an option seller, it's a can't lose unless you really screw up. If you learn to be an option seller, when you go into the board, uh, Chicago Board Options Exchange, it used to be years ago. They had these big badges on. It said, sell an option, buy a Mercedes, because that's pretty much what it is. If you sell an option, the odds of you winning are 85% in your favor, okay? I mean, <laughs> where do you get that? Okay, the problem is when an option goes against you, when it goes against you, that's where the real problem lies. And so that's what we're starting to uh, remind ourselves, uh, you know, that you got to be able to do that for sure. So that's that's the main reason of the options. But I would get in touch with uh, Larry McMillan. He's the option guy that's written all the books. It's really got great stuff in it. But if you keep it simple, you can make money with the options, especially if you learn to be an option seller. That's a no-brainer. It really is. Hey, let's take a break here. 877-927-6648. And I have some news on our guests tomorrow. You don't want to miss that show. We'll be right back, boys and girls. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
Paperwhite's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. I decided to post a chart here from our friend Timmy, Timmy the Hogman out there in Nebraska. Timmy, I want to thank you for bringing this to our attention last week. You'll remember here we were watching. It was last uh, Tuesday on the show. We had a beautiful buy signal down there at 84, and the hogs are trading above 89 and change today. Had a nice uh, five and a half cent move. That was a beautiful pattern. You can see it's within the channel lines that we look at, setting right at the 61% retracement of the low on December the 8th. 50% of the low from November the uh, day after Thanksgiving. But if you look at it closely, that becomes a 135 pattern, folks. One being October the 27th. Three will be December the 7th. And of course, Five would be on the 11th of uh, January last week. And as you can see here, we had this big move up, and it continues to move higher. But that's a situation where you have everything lined up. You don't need to know how many pigs are out there, what's what's going on. You're just seeing the buyers, and the buyers are coming in at that point. You know that if you buy it at 618, you got to risk about a penny and a half, around you know 430 bucks, and that's already picked up five cents, which would be over two grand. So that's all that is. I mean, there's nothing more. There's nothing exciting. I could probably put some things in there that make it pretty with all kinds of lines and stuff that, to me, they just confuse the situation, folks. I, I'm just like Curly from uh, uh, City Slickers, man. Do one thing, and that one thing I do is I watch that ABCD. And before I watch ABCD, I ask, saying, okay, how much do I got to risk to see whether this is going to be good or not? That's all I'm asking. If those questions are answered positively, then I have a, then I have a trade that I can actually do. Now, let's move on to another one that looks really good. I've covered the wheat. I think that looks extremely well. I want to cover this one for our, our good friend, Mr. Mr. Z, because he was in this uh, soybean oil for so long, and I don't know whether he's still in it or not. But as you can see here, that we are setting up that if it gets below 57.54, I don't know where it's trading today, but this is a four-hour chart, so this encompasses well over six weeks. If we get below 57.44, uh, uh, that tells us that this market is going to have a pretty significant correction. Now, stop and think, folks, between the 5th and the 14th, of January, all this thing has done has built a very, very strong foundation. You can look at that as a pennant or a flag between uh, 5980 
and down to 57.60. And on the move on the upside would break out to the upside, and the move on the downside would break out to the downside. That's pretty much what you're looking for. But the odds favor. Just looking at this, I mean, if you had to, you know, put a gun to my head, which most of you do most of the time anyway, I would be a buyer around that 57, uh, 60 level, and I wouldn't risk more than 30 or 40, or let's say 40 cents, $260. Now, I have no idea where the March soybean oil is trading this morning, but that's how I would handle it. I don't know where the things are going to go or not. I don't know if you folks remember uh, Tony DeAngelis. He was the first guy to put a real scam. Uh, his, his name was Big Tony DeAngelis, as I recall, back in the 60s. He scammed the soybean oil industry. What he did was he, he had these certificates, that, these giant containers with 50, 60,000 gallons of soybean oil. And what he did was he filled them with water and then the the top foot of it, he would put in soybean oil. So when the people took the samples, they, if they didn't go way down into it, they just did a little bit. It looked like there was oil, and most of it was baloney. And uh, he, he ripped off millions of dollars. Unfortunately, the people that he ripped off uh, from the uh, from the business were people from New Jersey and, uh, you know, No Neck, Linguini, and all these other guys. And uh, that's uh, – Tony didn't live very long after that. But And then another guy did it later on. I don't remember what his name was. That's when I was in graduate school uh, at Indiana for my MBA. Somebody else did the same scam with them. Now they're smart enough that they have inspectors that, you know, do the – testing all the way down to the bottom of the of the big containers and that doesn't happen anymore at least not now every 20 30 years they're probably going to come up with another way of doing it uh is it uh how is the uh uh i don't know where the uh or soybean is uh, soybean oil is right now uh uh okay uh okay what are you talking about three what are we talking about 382 in the in the oil is that what you're talking about, Bo? Because I can't, I can't tell you what I cover. I cover so many things. Yes, yeah. All I'm saying here, look at, look at that soybean. You know, look, at, look at the consolidation right where it is. If it gets below 57.40, then there's something right. You know that that's really uh, that's really all you're looking at. You know that that's uh, the basic thing of uh, what we're paying attention to. Um, Okay, well, that crude oil. I'm, <laughs> Bo. I'm talking about soybean oil, and you're talking about crude oil. That's like, <laughs> that's like talking between potatoes and oranges because they're totally different. No, the soybean, the the crude oil uh, had a nice retracement. That that's that's a done trade already. We pulled back. Uh, very closely, we dropped a little over a dollar a barrel right out of 382, went up and made new highs, and then it rolled over. That was another one. But that you have to do it. We're doing a 15-minute chart. On the one on the soybean oil, I don't do 15-minute charts for the letter and stuff like that because you can't you know, act on them. But if you look at that four-hour chart, that's exactly what we're looking at. Can someone tell me where that four-hour or where the uh, soybean March, March bean oil, is it still above uh, 58? Because uh, – yeah, there it is. It's acting pretty good. See, uh, acting really good. 58, uh, 5888. So it's still acting pretty good. So that's pretty much it. Sorry to, in, to get the interpretation wrong between the crude oil and the soybean oil because one is edible and the other isn't. So that's mainly the main thing. This uh, thing with about the oil and the shortage, and you stop and think that they're trying to put all of these electric cars. It's not going to be long, folks. It, there's going to be a real, real glut of oil on the market coming from all over the world, or Europe, China, and other places. Once they get more of these electronic cars out there, but that's ten, probably ten or fifteen more years uh, down the way. I think we have enough oil here to last a hundred years. I've heard, but uh, those are supply-demand things that I never pay uh, too much attention to. So, by the way, tomorrow is going to be a fun day because we're going to have. One of the F-16 boys, Mr. Jimmy Bartoleone, is going to be calling on from Bart's Charts. He's going to have some really great stuff for us. That'll be at 1130 tomorrow. We'll have I'm going to have Joe DiNapoli later in the week and also Stan Harley, uh, which days that'll be either Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We'll try to figure it out, which the two I'm going to have for them. That'll be, you know, very interesting to, uh, you know, pay attention to. Uh, someone's asked a question. I think we reached our objective here in the uh, euro. Uh, someone might double check that on that. I haven't seen the limit minder uh, go off or anything, but uh, that number in the euro is down there at 133. Uh, 34. I don't know what the low has been, but we're getting pretty close to that area. It would be uh, 
the guests that I would be uh, that I would be watching for. So let's uh, keep a, a close eye uh, on on that one as we watch it uh, going through here. Okay, now let me see where we are with the euro. Yeah, we did. We made it in the euro. We got down to uh, one uh, one thirty three thirty. Wow, right on the money. We said it was going to be thirty four. Got to thirty four. <laughs> Pretty good. That's not so bad. All right, let's move on here to another thing that we're paying attention to. And let me get that up here. Hold on. I'll get the chart for it, and we'll be ready to go. Hold on here. We'll be ready in just a second here. The FANG stocks, and that was the one I wanted to Tesla. We'll be right back with Tesla, folks. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Target First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're back, folks. I posted the uh, chart of a Tesla. Uh, you'll see it's it's probably it's acting better of any of the FANG stocks. So it's important to pay attention to that. The other thing that's happened today is that Microsoft, with $65 billion in cash, has bought Activision. I don't know anything about uh, uh, that kind of stuff except that it's gaming. Uh, John Jameson said that it was very important because uh, the fact that the gaming business is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and never get any littler. That's what he's saying. So that's why it's important. So they moved that money from cash to buy Activision at, a, I guess, a very, very, uh, very, very important price. So we'll 
take a look at that as we move. Remember the three things that we got to focus on in the coming weeks, folks. What's happening to bonds and notes? What's happening to the U.S. dollar, i.e. through the eyes of the euro and the British pound? And then also the stock market. Those are the ones that we want to pay very, very close attention to. There's not too much difference between some of these indices with the exception of the fact that the Dow, which has been the weakest, is a little, a little weaker today, but mainly because of Goldman Sachs. You know, Goldman Sachs, I posted the chart that completed a giant ABCD pattern today. So if you had to buy any Dow stock or had to buy something and you had money that you had to buy stocks, that would be the one to buy because you got an ABCD pattern in an up market. And that's why I would take a look at it, you know. And, and I know the news is really bad, but the reason why the price is down here is because the news was bad. So keep that in mind. Now, tomorrow, remember, we will have Jim Bartleone will be our guest. Uh, always always a lot of fun. He's got some great stuff, and he has a site called Bart's Charts that will have some really great interest. Later on, we'll have Stan Harley and then also Joe DiNapoli later this week. I probably will have to be Thursday and Friday because Jim's on tomorrow. We have a short week due to the uh, holiday on Monday. So those are the main things that we want to be uh, paying close attention to. Make sure that you use stops on all your positions, folks, because I'll tell you, these markets are not for the faint of heart. I mean, they they're wild puppies. I mean, they jump around. The Dow jumps 150 points every hour or 15 minutes. It just had a 150-point move in 15 minutes just while we were on the air. See you all tomorrow. May God bless. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude.